The children of Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, have an adorable yet unusual nickname for their grandfather, King Charles II. Prince Louis, Prince George and Princess Charlotte call Charles Grandpa Wales in a nod to his former title of Prince of Wales, which he held before becoming king. It is thought that the nickname was inspired by the children's late great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, who reportedly called her own grandfather King George V Grandpa England. King Charles III has repeatedly spoken about his pride in being a grandfather to five children. One of the more eye-catching moments during the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee last year featured Prince Louis climbing up onto Charles' knee for a cuddle as they watched the Jubilee pageant together. Charles is also a grandfather to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's two children, three-year-old Archie and Lilibet, who turns two in the summer. It is thought that Louis, George and Charlotte will all be in attendance to witness Grandpa Wales be officially crowned during his coronation. The nickname was revealed during a Robert Hardman column in the Daily Mail, where he discussed the bedlam that ensues when the three grandchildren visit. During the column, he also noted that Charles increasingly consults his eldest son, the Prince of Wales, in all major family decisions. Charles has told those close to him how he is worried about the current generation being up the planet for his grandchildren. He told the royal historian, if we would just stop being about with the planet. I just worry about the sort of world my grandchildren are going to live in. He has put in a plantation of trees to mark the birth of Prince George at Burkill, his highland home near Balmoral. Charles said, it will be quite amusing for him, I hope, as they grow up and he grows up. This comes as America's top diplomat for biodiversity, Monica Medina, told Channel 4 News this week that King Charles is an incredibly important ally to the cause of climate change. The remarks came on the eve of a meeting where environment ministers were pressing ahead with the UN Nature Agreement reached at the COP15 summit in Canada in December. Earlier this week, the busy king was seen listening to emotional pleas for urgent help from families who have lost relatives in the earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria. The king heard first-hand stories from the Syrian community in an event at Trafalgar Square in London. Charles heard from grieving families and was shown pictures and films of the damage caused by the earthquake before being given a traditional offering of Syrian coffee and dates. The king, who had personally donated to the Disasters Emergency Committee Fund, had said he was deeply sorry about the earthquake. 